What's going on everyone? It's Adam from Spirited Systems again. And you can see that we are in a little bit of a different location. That's because the building that we were in uh, kind of grew out of it. So we're moving the whole marketing team, whole media team into another building. So you can see we have not completely finished it yet, but you can see that we did put up a little bit of artwork just for you guys, just for this video. So today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, it's GP pouches. And you're probably familiar with a couple of the pouches because, well, they exist. But there's a couple of pouches that we're releasing uh, and we're gonna talk about those as well. So you're gonna get kind of a first look at those too, some things that we've been testing. So if you've been following us with, or been with us long enough, uh, you are very familiar with the GP Medium. It was our first GP pouch, uh, it kind of changed things. For, uh, for us as a company, but also for the GP market as well. Uh, it's just a little bit different, a lot of features loaded into a pouch. Uh, we also, the next pouch that we also carry is the GP Small. So it's a lot like the GP Medium, just a little bit smaller. Uh, some new ones, GP Tall here, which you can, I put them on this convenient uh, cummerbund for you can see, so you can see a size reference, uh, is one of our new pouches that we're releasing and we're gonna be talking about. And then we have this guy over here, which is the uh, GP wide. So you can see they all look very similar, but they all have a purpose and they all uh, are shaped a little differently. And just for size reference, you can see them all side by side. So we have, once again, we have the wide, we have GP tall, we have GP medium, and we have GP small over here. So see them all together right here. That's a complaint we always get. You want to see them next to a human. So here you go. There it is. So all of our GP pouches are constructed in a similar manner. And that's because there are certain features that are uh, common to all the general pur purpose pouches. Uh, so I'm gonna start from the inside of the pouches and just get right into it. So you'll notice the first thing on every one of our pouches is that we have loop Velcro on the inside. And that is because we sell a ton of inserts so that you can stay organized. So it's very simple. These just Velcro on the inside of the pouch. Uh, just like that, and you use them for all sorts of uh, organizational things. Chem lights, batteries, shotgun shells, 40 millimeter grenades, whatever it is, you just kind of slap it on. Uh, the GP Small is unique in that it has a smaller strip of Velcro here uh, because of how the front's built. It's kind of shape around objects and stuff like that. We needed to put a smaller strip, but it still works well enough. Uh, another thing that is common to all of our GP pouches is that they all have tie down loops. And I can't stress this enough. If you don't tie your sensitive items down, they're going to fall out of your pouch. You're going to unzip it to get a battery or something. And then your islet is going to fall out uh, and it's going to get lost. So we included uh, tie downs in every, every pouch and they are double tacked down. So these things are not going to come off. The pouch would literally have to fail before uh, that would come off. Uh, some of our pouches also have, uh, grommets that are spaced evenly, kind of like if you're familiar with our sack pouch, you can hang a tourniquet from it. The only difference is that the sack pouch is built in uh, permanently. This is removable. You can buy that kit on our website if you want to mount a tourniquet to the bottom of the pouch or any other piece of equipment. So that's small and what it looks like on the inside. And as we move up, they're all basically the same concept. We have Velcro on both sides on GP medium. We also have tie downs on both sides as well. And you can see this just has a four loop insert in it. Works really well uh, for 40 millimeter grenades if you wanna stash a couple uh, you know, on either side of your body. GP Tall, same thing, two fields of Velcro, and it also has tie downs on the side. So you can you know, tie all those sensitive items, items down. And then uh, we have GP wide, which is the only one that's kind of an odd duck as far as the interior goes, because one side has a mesh uh, divider in it with the tie downs located here on the front of the panel. Uh, the other side is, like all the rest though, it is Velcro. So moving to the outside of the pouch, again, there's some things that are common to all of them. They all have uh, a front zipper stash pocket. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. They all have double zips on uh, every zipper that's on the pouch is double zipped. And uh, we do that because we want, we want you to always have a zipper, a way to close the pouch no matter what. If you ever see a pouch with a single 
pole, if that single pole fails, it gets jammed with some sand or something, you, can't, you just can't close your pouch anymore. So they all have double zips. Uh, they all have molly mounting as well as our pouches all have an organic belt pass through on the, on the back of the pouch. So you don't have to modify it in any way. You can just jam your belt through there. So molly on there, this is a GP small, so it takes up three columns of molly if you're uh, looking to mount this somewhere. So moving on up to GP medium, same thing on the outside, same features as the GP small. Uh, the only difference is that it takes up four columns of molly. Uh, GP tall is the same as the medium and the small on the outside as well. On this one, it takes up four too. So same space, you just get more depth. And then the wide, uh, we take up six. So this takes up six uh, columns of molly. So it's, it, it is very wide. Still has a belt pass through though, if you ever wanted to wear it on there. So going back down to the small, I'll just kind of run through, I'm gonna unload some items, just give you the idea of what's possible with these GP pouches. So the small is designed to uh, be mounted either to your belt or to the cummerbund of your plate carrier or the back panel. I wear them in all three locations. My belt has uh, a GP small on it. Sometimes my plate carrier does and my back panel definitely does uh, if I'm using my Molly back panel. Um, and it's sized around a set of PVS 15s or 31s. So those will fit in here. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a tight fit on, um, on the goggles, but they will fit in there. And uh, we wanted this to be a pouch that you could fit at least those in. You can see I have in this one, I'll pull some stuff out. I have a divider insert in here and I have the smoke grenade as well as a uh, low roll, you know, uh, def tech flash bang in there. If you're familiar with this size, uh, one of those in there, just to give you like a height kind of interpretation. And then we have in the front zippered pocket, I just have a Leatherman. It's the sidekick model. So if you have that, you can see how big that is. Uh, and again, front zipper pouch, we just have that there because you know, you have all this real estate on your body. Uh, GP pouches are great because you can adapt them to whatever you uh, want them to hold. That's why they're called general purpose. But having that front zipper pouch is, uh, is super good for those smaller items. Stuff that you, you, know, you need all the time, like, uh, like your Leatherman, right? You're always looking for it, you need to fix something. I like having it in one of these exterior pockets. I always know it's there. Uh, I can grab it at a moment's notice. This is just another small, but I uh, just wanted to show you this, our solo kit actually fits in there. So if you own a solo kit, this is a great pouch for that. Uh, and in the front here, I like to stash uh, extra gloves just in the, in the front pouch. I just think that you never have enough gloves. You're always wanting to put on another pair or maybe one rips. So that's a good place to, to stash that. This one I have uh, set up with one of our new uh, padded inserts and those, are, those will be releasing as well. So this is a removable insert that we're gonna talk about separately, um, but it fits inside of the small and the medium GP pouches and it will encapsulate uh, some kind of sensitive item, either night vision or something like this Terrapin range finder. It just kind of fits in there and uh, keeps it nice and protected. So that's something that we're, we're launching, we're really excited about. But uh, yeah, this same thing. I just have some Sharpies just to show you again, size reference, just some Sharpies stashed in that front pocket there. Moving up to uh, medium. So medium is just, it's just a little bigger than the small. Uh, there's a full size cartridge filter for a gas mask, standard issue stuff, fits in there really well. There's actually, you know, extra space inside that. Uh, so there's a medium. This one has PBS 31s in it with a padded foam insert as well. So you can just see these guys in there. They're just nested in there. There's, you know, nothing weird. What I like about the medium is that I can actually spread these guys out a little bit and just make a little bit of a lower profile on them. And so keep my night vision in a pouch like this. Personally, I like to always keep my night vision on my body, uh, no matter what. I just, I always have it with me. I always have spare batteries. That way, if I ever get separated from my pack or a vehicle, I just have the ability to, to transition into, into nighttime. Definitely want to have some kind of padding on the outside of the pouch. Um, 
to protect those, those sensitive items. I also tie my nods down to one of the tie down loops on the inside because you never want to lose your night vision. In the front pouch of my medium GP, I always keep spare batteries for my night vision. So, and quite frankly, you should keep spare batteries for all of your items in that same pouch. So you just have to go to one spot for it. So that's a medium kind of loaded out. Uh, in this guy, I have, um, uh, just for demonstration, I have a medium, but I also have a three loop insert in there as well, uh, just to show you that, you know, you can basically just pop that in, have some, some items, just keep them from tipping over or, you know, items stacking on top of each other, just to keep it nice and neat. So you, you know, when you want to grab exactly something you can, and then also just to kind of demonstrate the tie down, right? So this is tied down inside the pouch. Uh, I can still use it. Uh, I can still sniff with it. And then I can just put it back in there and not have to worry about it getting lost. Again, I really like tie downs because if I were to have to run all of a sudden, I can just drop this and it's just gonna stay dangling off my, off my body. Pretty, pretty common stuff. So again, that's a medium size right there. When we start getting into the tall, we start talking about more of a, a kind of a specialty size. Now I do use these on my plate carrier. Uh, I use them kind of on the oblique back here uh, and I carry my, my med kit. It's just really a good way to have extra um extra real estate in case you need to pack along some you know something extra an extra nalgene bottle for water a couple extra bottles of water i just like having you know these pouches empty weigh almost nothing but you can always just stuff them with things if you if you need it if you're at a truck and you just need to grab some things real quick in a jam you can you can use these pouches that way uh, we made it to hold uh the Darcy firing system. If you're familiar with that, then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, this can hold about three of those. If it's a 30 foot um, line, you can probably hold three and safely. I also like that you can put a plate into this as well. So if you are wearing these on the sides, they can be dual purpose. They can uh, put items in it, but also have your side armor. This is a HESCO P110 uh, plate and it is an 8.5 by six just to give you a size reference. And then in the front here, this front pouch is really deep, but it's great for things like uh, full-size chem lights. So you can just jam a ton of full-size chem lights in there, uh, you know, in or out of the package. Just for size reference, full, full Nalgene bottle. So you can stick a full Nalgene bottle in here and uh, zip that guy up and there's still room left. So if you have like a filtration, Device, you can see like how much room is still available in this pouch. So you can, uh, you can carry it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to carry just fine. But if you have uh, extra stuff you need to pack in there as well, you can do that. So the, the wide is, is a special pouch. It's definitely six columns of molly. So if you're putting this on the side or something, you're basically eliminating your entire cummerbund. Uh, but we made this specifically for back panels. That was the idea behind this pouch. So this, this pouch with two small GPs or this pouch with a line of flashbangs on a back panel uh, work really well uh, with each other. I like this one because again, it just gives me a big pocket to carry irregular you know, gear. I can carry, I can schlep charges for a breacher. Uh, if I'm a combo guy, I can carry things, you know, spare uh, SATCOM antennas, extra embitter batteries, things like that. All these things that, you know, you just kind of need a home for. If you're on an assault, this is just a great uh, pouch for that. It has easy access tie down loops. So the tie down loops are at the top instead of down on the sides. And that's because uh, somebody else is gonna be accessing this equipment on your back. So they're gonna need to be able to see it probably under night vision. And if they need to detach a piece of equipment, they're gonna want like easy access to those tie down loops. So that's why we put them on the top. Uh, and it also has this divider you know, insert in here. And I like that for, you know, I just have a notebook stashed in here right now, but any kind of paperwork or anything flat that just needs to have its own home, that's, uh, that's gonna go in that, in that pouch. And again, I just have, you know, just for demonstration, I probably wouldn't keep a compass back here, but it's just tied down in there just to show you that it's, it's tied down. So those are all the different pouches and kind of just like a basic overview over uh, what they can do. So another product here that I'll just talk about real quick is uh, the foam insert for our GP pouches. 
So this works in the small and the medium. And you can see, I'll just fold it up. That's kind of what's happening inside of your pouch, right? So you actually wear this, this side facing away from your body. So if you imagine I'm wearing a cummerbund and I'm gonna mount this inside the pouch, this would be facing you know, in like this and the Velcro would be facing out away from your body. And what that does is it essentially utilizes the cummerbund and your body as, as one wall of protection uh, for your night vision. And then it protects it from the outside with this foam. And we also had Velcro laminated on the back so that you, know, you can buy all sorts of little battery inserts or you can take uh, just a, a hard plastic battery insert, put some Velcro on it and you can actually attach it to this top wing so that you're, you, know, you have a spare set of two batteries just on the top all the time that you can just you know, pop out real quick and, and put into your night vision. So it's a simple product, but it, uh, it works really well uh, just for protecting sensitive items. And again, not just night vision, Terrapin, range finders, any kind of electronic that you just want a, a little bit more impact protection for, this is the ticket. So I'm gonna move all this stuff kind of out of the way. So I have this guy set up. This is my plate carrier and you can see, uh, we're gonna do a, a separate video on this so I don't wanna get too far in depth, but the, the GP pouch stuff is relevant. So I have three GP pouches on the back of my uh, plate carrier. I have two small GPs and I have a wide. And this is a Molly back panel, zip on panel that we make. Uh, and this is my configuration now. It's, it's more geared towards, you know, definitely assault training or assault stuff. Uh, where I need to schlep around gear that I'm not necessarily gonna access myself, but the team just needs to have that equipment. So I usually use uh, the top pouches. I usually use one for me and one for the team. So I'll carry like flashbangs on one side uh, and some spare batteries for a buddy. And then on this side, I'll carry extra stuff for me. So anything, any little items that I might wanna have, extra batteries, you know, uh, calories, whatever is going to go in, in this one. And I use our uh, identifier kit, which uh, a lot of people kind of talk trash on this on this kit, uh, but it just comes from a, a kind of a, a place of ignorance where they don't understand what that would be used for. This is exactly that scenario, right? You're on an assault, you need something out of your back panel, or somebody needs to find something on your back panel. The zipper poles are how you tell them where to look. Right. If a guy comes up behind me and he's like, hey, I need flashbangs. I need to top off on flashbangs. Do you have any? And you say yes. Just go for the blue zipper. He'll know immediately it's in this pouch. Right. And he'll be able to open it. So that's why those those colors are on there. So I use this one for me, this one for the team. And then this one down here is generally for just specialized equipment. It's just anything. There's there's always that thing that needs to be brought on or you're just helping the RTO carry an extra couple batteries in this pouch. Uh, I, I have used it for med overflow as well. If uh, the medic's like, hey, I need to carry, you to carry an IV bag or something like that, that's where, that's where that equipment is gonna go. Uh, and then off to the sides here, like I said, I carry these big uh, talls on the, kind of on the oblique and they're on both sides. And I actually learned this from uh, a guy that I was working with in Afghanistan. He just kind of had some big pouches kind of on the backside that were empty and I asked him about it and he was like, hey, I just, just in case, you know, just in case I need to carry extra stuff, it's, it's lightweight, it doesn't matter until I load it up and then I can just, you know, put whatever I want and I would see him on missions. Basically, he would just jam a couple extra bottles of water and stuff like that in him uh, and just drink them as he was going. So I thought it was a good idea and kind of inherited that from him. So that's one example of how you can set up your kit on, on a back panel. And then I'll give you guys just one last example. I have a... Uh, my belt kit here and I don't like to keep too much on my belt. It's actually gotten more as of late, uh, hanging out with Fred, you know, he's a big belt guy. So I'm giving it a try. Uh, I have my, just a pouch. If you're not certain what that is, uh, we have some information up about that as well. You can go watch, uh, that video, but, uh, this is just a GP small. So I keep this guy on the belt. He's usually empty actually. So I just keep him empty. Again, I just stash things in there. The thing I love about uh, the small being on the belt is I can put smoke grenades in it. I could put the regular frag grenades in there, extra mags, whatever it is, I can just jam it in there in a pinch. If you know you're going to be getting into something a little, uh, a little salty, then you can just kind of load up on some, some items real quick. 
Uh, and it can never be understated, the whole SSE thing. You might just be coming across items that you need to stash somewhere. Some, somebody dropped something, you just wanna kind of put it somewhere. Uh, it kind of acts as like a dump pouch that isn't so you know saggy on my body. So that's it guys, that's our GP pouch suite. Uh, like I said, we're just releasing these at, at the time of this video. Uh, the wide and the tall are just coming out, so you'll be able to pick those up, but we'll have all four out in, uh, in stock, as well as the new uh, night vision or padded insert. So thanks for watching, guys.